And here she is on the javelin strut of this 1940 steerman. And she formed another wing walking team, all women in 2011. Throttle is back. Marcus Payne at the controls here. Slowing this airplane down. Carol is making a move on that wing. You can see her crawling on the aircraft. She's heading up to the stanchion on the top wing. You gotta pull the power back. Even now, they're still doing about 80 miles an hour. There she is on the top going to strap herself in and go for the ride of her life. Once she gives the signal to Marcus Payne, he's going to throw on the smoke and apply the power. Now she's on the top wing. She's got the best seat in the house. But well, wait a minute. That's an aerobatic airplane, isn't it? Oh, yeah. to do it all by herself. Marcus Payne, her pilot, is a native Alaskan. I bet he wishes he was there now. He's he lives in Tucson, Arizona, and operates a company called Unusual Attitudes, LLC. He's an EMT. Also has a service level waiver. Flies in shows
was talking to Karen about it, one of the things that she stresses to people who want to learn how to wing walk is you can't smile while you're doing this. For those of you who have ridden motorcycles, you know why. But they hurt when they hit you. And they don't chase as big Marcus Payne and Carter smoke on, bringing the airplane in. Carol Pallon firmly on the top wing. I remember she does not while she is calling from place to place on this aircraft. See though, Carol loves this. It's a horizontal. Tell you what, that airplane's got a screaming smoke system too. You know, this is one of those times, you know, as a kid, we always used to put our arms out, pretend we were flying. This is one of those times when you could actually do it and really be flying. Power's coming back. They're right above the stall speed on the steerman. When I'm talking stall speed, that is the speed where the wing stops flying, not when the engine quits. Different kind of stall. Here we go. It's going to do a Superman pass. Everybody wave at Carol Pallon. She's waving back to you. Oh, I know she's going to hate to get back on the ground because right now that wind feels so beautiful. Now, Carol owns two aircraft. She's also an FAA certified airframe technician received her solo proclamation in 1990 and her first jump certificate in 1989 from the Canadian Sports Parachute Association. She is also a United States DOT certified motor carrier and has performed before millions on the North American circuit, across Canada, the United States, and even in the UK. And her advice to you is, throttle it up, baby! Everybody, let's wave at Carol Pallon on the top wing of that 1940 Super Stereo. I remember Carol when she was walking on the top of that jet Waco, and it was incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, get your cameras and camcorders, your cell phones ready, your watercolor set, your sketch pad, and hopefully you got a really sharp pencil. Carol Pallon is coming around again. This will be her last pass. So if you haven't got a picture of her now, I would say do it quickly. Coming in from the right, Marcus Payne at the controls, Carol Pallon on the top wing of the airplane. This is third strike wing walking. There she goes. One foot on the fuselage, one hand on the stanchion. Not exactly an easy way to get around in an airplane, that's for sure.
There they are, Carol Pallon in the front cockpit, Marcus Payne in the back at the controls. This is third strike wing walking.